box starts the same way with your round like this. I'm going to put this down on the table, seam side up. I'm going to press this down though slightly into an oval like this. And the oval goes like this and not like that. Okay? Can't see. Come over here. You can try it later. Okay, so then I have this oval here, I'm seam side up. I'm going to take the top of this oval and turn it just past the center line like this. So not all the way over, but just past the center and seal that gently with the heel of my hand. Okay. Then I'm going to take the bottom and gently, you know, fold that over just past the center and seal that gently with the heel of my hand. So that now I have this kind of burrito looking thing. <laughs> Okay. This goes seam side up. Turn this around like this. Okay. So now we have our burrito seam side down on the table. Then I'm going to take my hands, and you know, if the dough were stiff enough, I'd be able to just roll it, up, roll it back and forth, and it would seal. But what I'm going to do, hard to describe, so take a, so try to ask or whatever. But what I'm going to do is try to bring the skin of the loaf around itself and gather it underneath and seal it that way. So I'm going to try to pull this, the tension around the loaf this way with my fingers coming towards me like this. See? And then with my thumbs away from me like that. So, so I'm trying to get it. underneath the loaf of bread like this to seal it up. Two or three times, as I said, the surface is really challenging. Here, so, um, okay, and that's a bit hard. Finish it up a little bit like this, but basically I'm trying to put as little pressure, as little work. Guys, I know that it's...